Hi, Connie here with Mission Computers, here to show you an iPhone tip. Uh, so the tip I'm talking to today is about some extra apps that are available to you um, for free, or you can certainly buy if you want more storage. And the ones that I'm referring to are the ones that are a little bit better than the notes feature on your phone. And they're what uh, the app's called Evernote and OneNote that you see on my screen right now. So I'm going to go into OneNote first. OneNote is a Microsoft product, and what my OneNote does is it lets you create a notebook. And as you can see with my example here, I have many different notebooks. And I'm going to go into my class example. So this is one particular notebook I have. And this notebook is divided into sections. So any of your notebooks can have as many sections as, as you need. And within each of the sections, you have many pages and information on those particular pages. So I'm going to go back to another example of a section and let you see the pages available to you and you see some shots of what those pages look like. So within a page, what can happen is you can just have plain old typing and you see some typing here with some links in it actually. Or you could have some actual handwriting that you're doing on your phone or on your iPad or tablet um, and that could be with a stylus or with your finger. Or you can have some graphics included. So this is the ones that OneNote gives you, some examples here. And you can mix it all up as much as you want. Um, so OneNote is so much cooler than just plain old notes because of the ability to combine information. And so the information it's combining is everything from graphics to letting you take an email that you received and sending that email into your actual notebook um, or sending a website address into your notebook as a link that you can then go to easily from that notebook. Uh, so OneNote combines pretty much everything that you get on your phone or get on your computer um, into one place so that you have access to it based on a topic or an area of interest. Uh, so that's one note. I really like using that. I suggest you check it out, try it out for personal use or for work, and then see how you can make better use of your notes this way. Another app that I'll talk to you about real quick here is Evernote, uh, which again, you can get for free or you can pay if you need more storage. Um, so Evernote has notebooks as well. And as you can see, uh, the example I'm showing here, these are some of the notes that I have in Evernote. Um, so this particular note has a website address plus an actual PDF saved in it. Um, this note is has a picture as well as some lists available to me. Oh, sorry, it doesn't have the picture in that one. Sorry, it wasn't another one. Um, but uh, you've got a lot of different choices for how things can look in Evernote. It's, and you can have many notebooks um, or unlimited number of notebooks that you can have uh, in your Evernote as well. And when you're looking at Evernote, the, the probably the biggest difference I find with Evernote and uh, OneNote is OneNote lets you have sections within a notebook. Uh, Evernote, you don't have sections, but you do have a lot of ways of tagging stuff so you can search and filter out information quite easily. Um, so it's your choice which one, which product you like. A couple of good examples for you to check out um, that will hopefully make note taking and keeping track of information a little bit easier for you in the future. Thanks and have a fun have fun trying